Norwich City are wasting absolutely no time in getting ready for the Championship, trying to shake off that horrible end to the Premier League season. A seventh signing already confirmed by the Canaries, and this one's sort of taken us all a, a little bit by surprise. It's been confirmed very swiftly. There was no speculation about it. Kieran Dowell signed from Everton on a permanent deal, three-year contract, already has over 70 Championship appearances on his CV, and uh, is one of the England Under-20 World Cup winners from 2017. I'm sure you remember all the uh, fuss that was made about that squad. Um, Dominic Calvert-Lewin is probably the most successful player to have emerged from that so far, the Everton striker, but you also had Lewis Cook, who uh, has played regularly in the Premier League for Bournemouth, uh, for Keo Tomori at Chelsea, he's already got an England cap, hasn't he? And uh, Adam ola Luckman at Red Bull Leipzig. So um, he comes from, uh, well, he... His, his career so far is pretty impressive, although the first half of this season with Derby was um, probably the, the first setback, really. But just to take a, a quick look back, he made his debut for Everton at 17 in a Europa League game. He then stayed with their under-23s team and won the title, the Premier League 2 title in 2015-16, was a uh, integral player for that squad. Then he went off to South Korea to win that under-20 World Cup, which uh, of course was a, a real high-profile event in the end with all the youth success that England were, were having in a uh, in short, fairly short space of time. Um, his first loan move followed, that was to Nottingham Forest in 2017-18. He scored nine goals in 38 championship games. Uh, that was when they finished mid-table under Ita Karanka, uh, played in, in both games against Norwich of, of that season. So um, a young age to be scoring nine goals in the championship, that was um, that was quite the start to his, his senior career. He, he did go back to Everton, he'd been with Everton since he, were, he was a youngster. He's from, from the North West originally, from Ormskirk, which is, isn't too far from... From Liverpool, uh, made a couple of League Cup appearances before going out on loan to Sheffield United, who, uh, in fact, his first start was the 2-2 draw at Carrow Road. He arrived there in January for Chris Wilder's team. Two goals in 16 games. He w was um, regularly involved, um, sort of on the fringes at times for them, but, um, of course, helped them seal promotion, second place behind Norwich um, but uh, it was back to the championship for him last season as I say Derby the first half of the season they were trying to shake off the sort of disappointment of their uh, playoff defeat under Frank Lampard who then left Philip Koku came in it's been quite a tumultuous time for them but um, he only made 10 appearances and was was on the fringes really for them in the first half so switches in January to Wigan and uh, initially a little bit of a slow start but after the after the season resumed in June, he scored um, five goals in nine games, including a, a hat-trick in uh, that 8-0 win over over Hull, who were just in uh, free fall at that point. But, um, you know, Wigan had a bit of fun. But, of course, everyone feeling a little bit sorry for, for particularly Wigan's fans and, and their players at the moment because that um, uh, points deduction, because the club had gone into administration, meant that despite a good run of form, they, they have been relegated to League One. Uh, 16 caps and two goals for the England under-21s as well. So I think, you know, we're painting a picture here of someone who's very much seen as a, an established championship player, still at a good age at 22 as well. And the vast majority of the reaction I've seen from Norwich fans is being really impressed with this one. Um, you know, some of the deals that have already been um, made in, in, say, Sorensen and Pueheta are players that, people haven't necessarily heard a great deal about but Kieran Dowell is a player that Norwich fans know they've seen him playing against City they've seen he's been building a reputation at decent levels of the game so um, although that's been welcomed of course it's prompted talk of uh, will this mean somebody's going out quite soon he is pretty much a playmaker a sort of central attacking midfielder a, a 10 he's got a real good left foot uh, can take a, a decent set piece and you look at his goals quite a few of them come from the edge of the box he's he's willing to pull the trigger quite quickly um, but does this now mean that Todd Cantwell or, or Emi Buendia could soon be on their way we will we will have to see as as we've been expected uh, expecting it, it's going to be a really busy spell for Norwich and and things are going to change week by week um, sort of predicting how the Norwich squad is going to shape up on 
the opening day of, of the season in mid-September is still pretty difficult at this stage. Um, of course, players will be shooting off on holidays and things at the moment, trying to get uh, squeeze in a bit of a break before they are straight back in for pre-season. Uh, I think it's pretty much a three-week break for, for the Norwich players um, since uh, since finishing against Manchester City on, on Sunday. Um, but Kieran Dow will be a part of that squad. Um, you can get the full... Uh, story for reaction quotes from Kieran um, at pinkin.com uh, we'll have a sort of full profile of his career so far at pinkin.com as, uh, as soon as we can uh, as soon as we can manage it as well um, but this follows on from um, a couple of well three deals earlier this week I think it was wasn't it so Sebastian Soto the American striker uh, he, he was finally confirmed coming in from Hanover Barley Mumba from Sunderland he was another one who you know we've been sort of waiting for the confirmation for a little while, and Matthew Dennis, a, a young midfielder who's left Arsenal, who um, we think will probably start off with the under twenty threes. You know, maybe alone will will follow for him. But um, added to Dan Elsonani, who was signed on uh, when his contract expired with uh, Dudelanga in Luxembourg, uh, and Poheta and Sorensen. That makes a pretty busy start to the uh, to the transfer window, which officially opened on Monday. Um, let us know what you think of the signing of Dowell in the comments below. We've also got reaction from City fans um, on the website. Um, but for now, that's uh, business. Uh, that's the seventh piece of, piece of business completed by Norwich already. Um, but I think we. Uh, I think there's plenty more to come yet. Yeah.